Good morning. I'm Annie Hayes Anthony. Um, I run Let Life Be Yoga. I normally forget to say that when I do these videos, but I remember today. Um, I did a video yesterday and everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. A helicopter came along and was really low and really loud, so you couldn't hear me. So I said I'd probably have to redo the video. So I'm redoing the video. So fingers crossed. Um, there's a bit of noise around, but it's okay. Um, just hone in on the beautiful birds singing. So I was talking about, it's just been Easter, a little bit different than normal because obviously we're all um, having to stay in and you can't visit family, but you know, you do your best. So my best was making chocolate cornflakes. Um, three Yorkie bars, um, other chocolate bars are available, and half a packet of cornflakes. And I ate all of them, like in two days, done. It was gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that. But what I was talking about was um, in this time when we're all having to stay in and moods are kind of a little bit up and down. Um, but also when things happen that are a little bit out of your control, but you might not have made it go the best way or um, just things that have not felt good. Um, it could be anything could be an argument with somebody or something that's upset you um, and then you might phone a friend and tell them what's happened and then you explain and you know you feel a bit better because you've talked about it and then you might be on the phone to another friend later and you tell them and then you repeat it all and then you might be on the phone to a family member and you tell them the story and then you find that this story, that was something that upset you, but it's grown and now it's huge. Um, and can you hear that banging? Sorry. Uh, and yeah, so you just, you, you make this um, thing that was awful, just bigger and bigger and bigger. So, you kind of you're fueling the fire all the time so it just reminded me of a wonderful um, story that Johnny Lynn Frau told me um, I talk about her a lot um, she's my guru she taught me um, most of what I know about yoga and and just stuff that she just helped me with um, I would say yoga and Johnny Lynn Frau changed my life around. Um, and so this is about um, how not to hold on to stories, I guess. So when she tells this, it sounds really good. When I tell it, it sounds like I'm about to tell a joke. So anyway, I'll do my best. So there's these two monks sounds like a joke but it isn't okay so there's this older monk who's been well he's nearly 90 say and so and he's been a monk his whole adult life so he's very senior and and then there was a new monk who had come along um, and he was kind of under his wing showing him the ropes, shall we say. So one day they're walking out and in the fresh air and there's this river. And by the side of the river, there's this woman um, in a very smart suit and high heeled shoes. And the river, the bridge is down and she wants to get to the other side. So she starts shouting at this monk saying, you know, you have to help me, you, you've got to get me over to the other side. Now, it's not normal for the monk to be picking people up, but he picked her up um, and he started carrying her through the water to get her to the other side, followed by the new monk. And all the way through the river, this woman is just shouting at him, moaning at him, 
you're getting my skirt wet, you ruin my shoes, lift me higher. And she just doesn't let up the whole time, even though the monkey's helping her across. So anyway, he gets to the other side and he lays her down. Um, not on the floor lying down, he puts her down. She's still standing. And she just moans. She doesn't say thank you. She just has a go at how badly he did the job, basically. Um, and then she went on her way. And that evening, the senior monk and the young monk are having dinner. Um, nothing is set. They just enjoy their meal. And then they go to bed. The next day they get up and they're at breakfast together. And the young monk clearly is still thinking about this. So he says to his senior, yesterday, like that woman, when you carried her through the water, all she did is moan. Like, she didn't even say thank you. Uh, did, did it not annoy you? Like, she, she was really horrible to you and you were just trying to help. And the senior monk just turned to him and said, are you still carrying that lady? Put the lady down. That blew my mind when I heard that. It probably was told better, but it blew my mind. And we do that, don't we? We retell stories and we relight them and they last longer. Whereas if you just put them down, you could then get on with that moment that you're living instead of reliving something that really annoyed you before. Put the lady down. So that's what I do. When I'm retelling a story and I catch myself, put the lady down. So that changed my life in one way. And I wanted to help you change yours. And it really works. Spread the news, spread the joke, spread the story. Um, put the lady down. So. I hope that helps you. Have a beautiful day with whatever you're doing. And just think about what's going on in your mind. Is what's going on in your mind giving you service? Is it good for you? Or are you still carrying that lady? Namaste.